morning, Saturday 4th of August. So, back on the bikes. Again, should be heading along the valley today and then uh, up into the mountains. So, we should have a different kind of scenery. We should have Kyrgyzstan on our left and Tajikistan on our right. And uh, we'll be cycling in Uzbekistan. So, let's uh, get on the road. Ready to go? Yes. Ready to go? Yes. Okay, let's go. We have about 55 kilometers today, so not too, too many kilometers, but already started with a headwind here and we're going to be climbing slowly all day through the valley here. So, we did so much effort today, 55 was yesterday, 250. It's nice already. So the mountains of Tajikistan appearing here, Kyrgyzstan is over there. Should get some better views of those. This is our place for breakfast today, a kind of another Persian restaurant. I love the breakfast restaurant. I cannot I've been up a crowd around us and all the waiters have been interested in us and want to take photos and see Andrew's photos on the phone. <laughs> Well, that was a good breakfast stop. I don't think they're used to having tourists there, but uh, more friendly people made to feel really welcome. We've had about 10 selfies with <laughs> all kinds of waitresses and the uh, cook who was cooking the kebabs. It, uh, he even helped us to call the hotel where we want to go this evening to see if they have a room because we've written to them but haven't replied. So, yeah, that was good. So, now we'll do a bit of biking now, start heading into the mountains here. So, well, as you can see the valley we're cycling in today. To our left in a short while will be the mountains of Kyrgyzstan. To our right, let's see is Tajikistan, the northern part of Tajikistan. That's uh, what we'll be looking at today. Cycle here. Bullish Valley. Just bought some water and Jamie's water is frozen. It's nice to get some ice cubes in the drinking bottle. And this time, shop owner has just worked really hard, 10 minutes of trying to cross the ice so it can go in the bottle. Okay, we succeeded with the Battle of the Ice. Now the bottles are filled with ice. We're ready for the mountains on a hot day. Let's go. Ice water, Jamie. Very good. It's so cold. I'm freezing out my teeth. Giving up the fight for a shot in the dark. Always smiling with the broken heart. You told me, call my name, and I can find a way to make everything you want come true. I told you, call. You the same that I will always come right back to you. Mm, daylight starting to bloom after a late night falling for you. Okay, change of plan. The guy that helped us in the restaurant this morning for breakfast, he called the hotel Mountain Resort Hotel. 
but they don't have rooms today, first tomorrow, so and we don't see much point in biking 10 kilometers off route and there's no space for us. So carrying on now into the mountains now and then it looks like there's should be some restaurants on the way so we'll eat there and then see if we can camp somewhere this evening in the mountains somewhere so that's what we're doing now I know just had a stop here Matters have got a problem with their knee that's been hurting the last two days and now it's hurting a lot We just had some lunch here and uh, it was time for the afternoon rest. But, uh, Meta's struggling with her knee now, so i um, been hurting on the way up the mountain there. So i uh, see whether she can bike anymore today or whether we have to uh, camp here tonight. We'll see. we have a rest now and then. See how it goes. How's it going with the bad knee? No problem now when I'm sitting still. Now I want to bike again. No. And not stay here. But when mom are cycling, she says it hurts. She knees. But when she are still and sits down and not do anything, it's better for she. Yeah. So now we want to take a rest. I have a rest now. That's the view for today's rest. Kind of reservoir, but the water's nice colour. Hello! <laughs> now we're trying to move again. 26 kilometres to uh, where there should be a restaurant that we can camp there. So we'll give Meadows near a chance, see if it. Uh, Comes down a bit so she can cycle to the restaurant there. So spent some time deciding what to do, with the, what the best decision is. But now we decide to move on a little bit and we'll see how that goes. There's some wonderful mountains appearing now. It's been quite bad condition. Difficult to see on the film though. It's banging and bumping around here. Can't get the speed up because there's too many bumps. Cycled 85 kilometers, turned up here. We saw a restaurant. Now we're just going to find it if we can sleep here. Seems to be a bit of a truck stop, but uh, maybe we're lucky. <laughs> yeah. The day has turned out. 
very different to the one expected. We'll see how it ends. We don't yeah. know yet. And this morning we were thinking of some kind of a hotel resort, mountain resort. Luxury hotel. They didn't have any space, so we carried, decided just to continue up the mountain here. So, we'll see. Maybe an adventure. We're very hoping that they have, they say, they have a, one hotel, a hotel, a simple hotel here. Mm. We hope very much. We cross our fingers all very much because we very hope it will, it's open. Yeah, no, we find places on. Uh, Google Maps or Maps Me. When we turned up for lunchtime, there was no restaurant there where we thought there was a restaurant. So, but we managed to get some bread in the bag and could buy some water. And uh, now we turned up here. Actually, there is actually a restaurant. So that's a good start. Yeah. So now we just need to find a place to sleep. On the on the map here, you got no idea. It just says restaurant or hotel. We got no idea what kind of hotel it is. There's no pictures or description of it. So <laughs> just to um, but. We'll see, or well, maybe we'll find a place to camp, you never know. We'll see okay. well, we didn't expect to have anything to eat, but a pile of kebabs. <laughs> so, that's much better than expected. We thought we were going to be eating bread and some runny butter. Actually, we started the day, we thinking we were going to have lobster dinner. Then we started, and then we went down to just a piece of bread for dinner, and now this. Hmm. Pot noodles, but we haven't got no uh, petrol, so we couldn't even uh, turn the cooker on. <laughs> so, we're not really prepared for camping at the moment, but we need to get uh, back on track again. We're lucky. <coughs> they have a room here in the restaurant we can sleep in. <laughs> Very good. Cool. Excellent. There's a sun. Not much sunlight left. If we have to go and find a camping spot now, it would be a little bit uh, dark by the time we put the tent up. But never mind. And from here it goes straight up a hill. And it looks like there's cement blocks on each side of the road, so it's not easy to find camping places here. No. So we are making a walking. Yeah, that's good. So now oh. we can be uh, taking risks in our heads and think. Yeah. Now we have a place to be, and now we cannot be to be worried. No. Yeah. Perfect. So it, our God help us. Yeah. We call him uh, the biking God. Yeah, yeah that's true. <laughs> Now we can enjoy a nice dinner here. Yeah. Oh. This is where we're staying today. It's a kind of restaurant, truck stop place here. It's got no idea what these places are like until you turn up. Could be anything, could be nothing at all. It could be a functioning restaurant like this where we just had a nice dinner. And they found us a room in the back here. Well, that's really lucky. Well, they probably could have camped somewhere here, I'd imagine. But, uh, we got a room today, that was great. So, and this is our room here today. Nothing luxurious whatsoever, but it doesn't matter. Place to sleep. <laughs> this is a room they found for us so we could sleep in the back of the restaurant here. So, that was good. So that was it for today. Another day moving from the flat plains into the mountains. So a change of scenery completely. And uh, tomorrow, we're really in the mountains tomorrow. So. Uh, a little bit of climbing, let's hope Meadow's uh, knee doesn't give her any trouble and we can get up the mountain. We've got to go up to 2,200 metres tomorrow. So, okay, we'll uh, sleep in this tiny room here yeah, and uh, see you tomorrow. <laughs>